Shalom and welcome to our series of Living Supernaturally where we are going through scripture one by one to help us pray in times of our need. Today our scripture is a prayer for surrender. This verse is extremely familiar to many of us and this is the prayer that Jesus prayed for surrender and obedience to God at the garden of Gethsemane that we find in Matthew chapter 26 and verse 39. This we see is a prayer of wholehearted trust that Jesus has that God would do nothing outside of his plan and purpose for him. In the garden of Gethsemane, Jesus was in agony knowing what was coming, what he was going to face after that. Not just the physical pain, but also the emotional and the spiritual pain and separation from his father as he carried the weight and the shame of the, of the sin of this world. Now, before Jesus fulfilled this plan of salvation, he prayed to God. He was in great anguish uh, with his approaching pain that was to come. Though Jesus knew his crucifixion was inevitable and something of God's will, yet his human nature struggled. And thus we see that he prays. So anytime you are in a place of pain, you can pray this Garden of Gethsemane prayer. And I'd like you like to bring about three parts to it. The first part is the part of faith. Jesus believed that God had the power to do anything, to change his situation. You and I can pray that too, because we are placing our faith in the maker of the universe. So whatever you're going through right now, you can say, God, I know you've got the power to change my situation. So the first is a part of faith. The second part is asking God for help. It is appropriate to say, God, I'm asking for your help. I don't know what I can do with this. I'm in a lot of pain right now. I do need some relief. I'm asking you for a miracle. You have the power to change things. So the second part is asking God for help. And the third part of the Gethsemane prayer is surrender. And it is key to learning to have the mind of Christ. Praying like Jesus did, Lord, even though I'm asking you to take this away, even though this is painful, more than anything else, I want to do your will, not mine, but yours. Are you ready to say the same prayer at your greatest hour of need? When you do, you're showing spiritual maturity and trusting the Lord will do what He has willed and purposed for you. So whatever is your situation, pray with me today with the prayer of surrender. I encourage you to keep that situation right before you as we pray this prayer from Matthew chapter 26, verse 39. Let's pray together. O oh my Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.